what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so we got another new image earlier this week from halloween kills david gordon green shared some tidbits regarding the upcoming movie as well and we know a few weeks ago or last week a few weeks ago sometime we got this image that you see on your screen here teasing what looks to be like the myers house i think it's the myers house but now we've gotten a new image and david gordon green has given some more light um on what we can expect halloween kills to be centered around and what ultimately it is about at its core so the two images that you'll be seeing on your screen are coming to us courtesy of empire who sat down with david gordon green apparently and had a recent interview where they got the chance to share these two images and he talked about what we can expect from the upcoming film and we finally get an idea of how exactly it seems michael myers will escape and this is just basically better a better shot at images that we've kind of seen from previous teasers that have come out from this film already showing him standing at the uh front porch of lori's lori's house escaping that fire what's in his hand looks like it's a halligan bar now that's what it looks like now a halligan bar to the best of my knowledge is a tool used of course for breaching doors and you most commonly would find firefighters using this now if i'm wrong about that you can correct me down in the comment section below but that looks like the tool he will use to get out of that trap now whether or not lori had one stashed down there just in case uh that's yet to be seen we'll have to wait for the movie or it's most likely that based off how halloween 2018 ended and how t halloween kills looks like he's gonna have a scene featuring her yelling at the top of her lungs let him burn a firefighter is most likely gonna go down there and myers will end up using that halligan bar to pry his way out of the remainder of the household so that's what i see happening honestly when it comes to how michael myers escaped it looks like we now have a more concrete idea thanks to those two images courtesy of empire uh we might finally have confirmation not necessarily confirmation but finally have a better understanding of how he is going to escape the fire thanks to those images so i know a lot of you thought that image was very cool it's probably honestly the best the best shot that we've gotten of this film so far that in that image there this is a very cool shot of michael myers just looking very dangerous looks like he means business looks like he has a bit of a a bit of a payback in mind in that image not necessarily to say that he is going to go after lori uh but he just looks like he is pissed that's what i got the vibe of that image just made me think that he looks pissed and he's he's gonna go on a on a rampage in halloween kills as we know we've been teased about that we can expect uh, a lot of gore possibly a lot of graphic things certainly we already know the film is rated r as expected so i can't wait to see what happens with the film in that regard and how michael myers becomes more violent than he was in the previous movie but david gordon green shared his thoughts on just kind of backtracking not backtracking but just going into more detail on what he expects halloween kills to be about in his own mind and what halloween kills represents and what it is centered around in his opinion since he and of course Danny McBride co-directed the movie. Well, actually, no. I think I think Dan I think David Warren Green went in this one by himself. But let me know if I'm wrong about that. But I think he went at it by himself. But he talked to Empire. This is coming from Blade Disgusting. He said this film is about community, community fear, paranoia, misinformation, and crowd panic. This movie is a great popcorn genre movie and not really any kind of statement. But it's strange how things line up. It couldn't be a more interesting time to release a movie like this. This goes back to them just kind of making mention of how the fact that we're living in an ongoing health crisis and we have a movie such as this that's apparently going to be dealing with a lot of things resulting from paranoia centered around Michael Myers. But in this case, Michael Myers would be the the virus. He would be the virus and the paranoia, of course, and the misinformation, crowd panic, definitely things that we're seeing in today's society with everything going on. So it's kind of fitting how i see what he means it's kind of fitting that a movie like this with hit with michael myers basically being the being the virus is coming out at a time like this it does feel very fitting and honestly those words are kind of just retreads in my opinion i feel like every time david gordon green opens his mouth about the movie now he's kind of just basically finding a fancier way to say something he's already said in the past but whatever i can't wait to see what happens in the movie can't wait to see and hear john carpenter's new score that he's constructing for the film since we know he's going to be back to deliver hopefully another amazing score for the film can't wait to see jamie Lee curtis back in her role as laurie strode and i just can't wait to see how all of these characters are doing 40 years later after the events of the original film i can't wait to catch back up with uh 
Little Lindsay Wallace. Can't wait to see Tommy Doyle. Can't wait to see Marion Chambers. And a lot of the things that are going to happen in this film seem like they're going to be callbacks to the original because we already know we're going to have a scene similar to when Marion Chambers first had her encounter with Michael Myers when Dr. Loomis and her were going to pick him up at the sanitarium back in 78 but he ultimately stole their vehicle smashing the window and stealing the car we know we're going to get a shot similar to that in Halloween Kills there's already been an image going around showing that and can't wait to see how Allison takes charge since we know that Lori will be taking the seat back it seems like this movie will be focusing more on catching us up with those other characters and Allison Strode most likely will be the one leading the charge and we'll be spending a lot of the time with her but of course we'll know and have a more concrete understanding of what exactly will happen once we all see the film and honestly other than that I wanted to talk about the fact that the movie could still get delayed now I know that the film is supposed to be released October 15th of this year but we know we've been getting these recent delays Godzilla actually got Godzilla vs Kong actually got pushed up to March and No Time to Die all these other movies A Quiet Place Part 2 recently got delayed it's just pushback after pushback after pushback Fast and Furious 9 is facing the pushback it's just getting ridiculous at this point and it, I know people are feel, fearful that with Paramount already starting to delay some of their movies what does this mean for Screen 5 will Screen 5 even get to come out in January next year Will they push it to some other time in 2022? I, I get it. It's very frustrating. It's kind of disheartening. But I just wanted to remind everyone what Jason Blum said. Jason Blum said no matter what, the movie would come out this year. Ultimately, though, I don't think he has that much control. I don't think it's going to be up to him. Uh, definitely will be up to Universal Pictures at the end of the day. And honestly, I could just see... I don't see this movie getting delayed till October of 20. 22 i don't i don't see that happening i see if anything they'll probably push it up maybe for whatever reason because i i don't know why they would push it up if anything they'll probably push it up to september or they'll push it out to november or some other time in october i don't see this movie getting delayed again i hope not anyway but let me know what you guys think about that new image and everything about a potential delay and are you excited for the movie let me know down in the comment section below if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can me message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and then with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video